Hey, I'm Ryan Gregg, the Faith and Culture Editor with FaithVillages.com, and today we're talking with Michael Gunger, the lead singer of the band Gunger. Thanks for joining us, man. Yeah, sure. Now, you guys have done some amazing stuff. Uh, y'all, y'all just got done with the tour with Dave Crowder Band recently, with their last big, big hooray, and uh, there who really comes to mind when I hear y'all's music is somebody who kind of redefined the genre. I mean, how did, how did uh, you approach worship music when you first got into it, and, and uh, as far as doing something different? I mean, I guess, I don't know, I, I, I grew up in the church playing music. I, I learned music and my faith kind of at the same time. So mm-hmm. it was always, they were always very connected to each other. Um, but now I just kind of see it as, I mean, music is, is music to me. And when people ask, like, is it worship music? For me it is, because there's like an offering that happens, like that worship. I, can happen through the music hmm. um, and so we just try to make and I and I hope that that happens with other people I hope that our music you know can help inspire and open other people's hearts as well um, but not we just you know we're just trying to make music that's honest and and true to who we are and um, and hopefully that will help inspire worship for people too so there's no like formula or like marketing plan or something yeah, that's it's just dictating. what came out so, yeah well, that's cool um you wrote a really interesting blog a couple months ago that uh you know we passed it around in our circles of friends going oh this is awesome have you seen this yet <laughs> where you you kind of went off i mean it was pretty long but it was good you <laughs> talked about uh you know contemporary christian music and you had you know some issues with it and you addressed a couple of things so yeah. one, one of your quotes that really stood out was <laughs> i find something very disingenuous about most Christian music. So for people who have just heard this, like what, could you go into that a little bit, like how that started? You were talking about, listen, you can, you can recognize a Christian song when you put it on the radio. And Yeah, I mean, certainly that's not, I, I was less interested in, uh, you know, bashing like Christian music. There's a lot of, there's a lot of Christian musicians that I really love and a lot of music that's been really inspiring for me through my life that's, that people have labeled Christian music. Sure. But, um, but yeah, there's something dangerous about uh, music that becomes about a message rather than when it becomes primarily about a message, it can easily turn into like a jingle, hmm. you yeah. know, uh-huh. like, uh, or like a, it kind of loses some of its soul. Hmm. Like I used the analogy of a zombie in that, in that blog mm-hmm. where it's like, you take pieces of this body and this, like a Frankenstein kind of thing, like assemble it for your own purposes of having it. It's the body. It looks like you took a little bit of hardcore music and a little bit of voila, but it's really only to try to use it to communicate a message. It becomes like kind of this soulless propaganda sometimes. Mm. Um, And to me, Christian music should be about, I mean, a, a Christian <laughs> making music sure. that's like that means something to them that's yeah. truthful and honest and and um, you know coming from from uh, from that from that place of a Christian should have the like to me the story of Christ uh, and the story of the resurrection and, and like that should inspire courage artistically like it's all things becoming new it's the the opening of the imagination to like even death doesn't have the last word like this is an entirely new world should be this you have this inspiration of newness and it tends it sometimes instead we tend to let faith devolve into this kind of dry dead fundamentalism that is just static and concrete and and then now we have to take this dead static thing and try to make it into art and it just doesn't work mm-hmm. like um and so I, I just hear it i think a lot of that blog you guys weren't the only ones spreading it. i didn't know many people would read it when i wrote it but within the first couple of days it had like oh, 50, man, I, 50 000 hits yeah, on it or something there like, was like a thousand comments about it. I, like, yeah. I was like oh my gosh well you know that's cool because you actually you were responding to the ones to <laughs> i was the, trying to, to the comments too. i finally gave up but i was like <laughs> uh but it was what it showed me was like this is a conversation people evidently wanted to have. For sure, and yeah. I'm actually writing, finishing a book right now. Oh, cool! Kind of about some of that better written. The blog was a rant, just sure. in the moment. Uh, but but I think there's something to like rather uh, 
we try to make Chris even on our taglines on our radio stations and stuff it's safe for the family mm -hmm. safe for the kids you mm -hmm. know like it's the safe family values sort of thing which yeah. is fine there's room for music in the world like that I don't know how that got equated with Christian hmm. like Christianity has never been a safe I mean it never used to be yeah. you used to get killed hmm. for your faith it was a very dangerous revolutionary way of living in the world not this like we'll, we'll chop off the, the teeth Hmm. And, and make it really safe for everybody cuddly to listen to and, and, yeah. and cuddly and nobody hmm. will get offended. Yeah. Um, and so I think with that, I just think we're losing something of what faith is supposed to be. Mm -hmm.